It's Friday morning. As you can see, I'm back. Quite a long journey back yesterday. Loads of hold-ups, roadworks everywhere. Took me over six hours to get home. I was absolutely knackered. Uh, tons of jobs to do yesterday. Um, picked up my new hiking boots, which look fab. And this morning, I had a Shopify order and an Etsy order to post. So I've already been out and done that. It's about half past nine. I woke up really early. I slept really well last night, back in my own bed, quieter in some ways. And um, I woke up at half past six. <laughs> so I got up about seven o'clock and um, I've been busy ever since. So two parcels done and I wore my new hiking boots just to give them a quick test run. They feel really nice. So I think that high tech hiking boots just really work well for me. Different brands work better for different people. Um, in terms of fashion brands, New Look was always a good shoe size fit for me. Um, so, new hiking boots seem okay. I think I'm ready to throw away my old ones now. Um, but when I get out on a proper hike, that will be the, the, proper, the proper test. And I said I was looking forward to coming home yesterday. Um, but then I kind of got back and I was like, ugh. Oh. Because I remembered all the stuff around me that so I'm not so keen on. But um, anyway, so yeah, back, getting into it. Tons of stuff to do. <sighs> and I walked down, to, I cut through the park on the way down to the drop-off points for the things that I'd sold. And all the local morons have pulled up the bedding plants in the park. This is why you can't have nice things. This is why councils just don't bother doing parks and doing nice things because there are some really like hateful angry people out there whose only way of dealing with the way they feel is basically to ruin everything for everyone else so there's that that's a nice little reminder of the naff place I live in anyway I, I mean that's it happens everywhere doesn't it Everywhere has people like this who just want to ruin everything for everybody else because why not? There's a lot of very angry people in the world, I have to say. Um, a certain number of them do manage to make it through onto my comments. There's some really angry people out there who just hate everything that you do and it wouldn't matter if it was right or wrong or it fitted with their ideas or not. They'd still be angry at you. It does make me laugh. Oh, people. Um jobs to do today i all my plants survived the trip so i don't know whether you can see this uh there is some of my tomato plants uh and i'll do a proper overview of them later my tomatoes have all survived and look good i think they're ready to go out uh, I'm just waiting for a gap in rain. It looks like it's about to tip down. I also have, I think, probably two of my broccoli plants look like they're going to do okay. I have four, but some of them don't look very good. And my broad beans have done okay while I've been away. Everything survived. It wasn't that hot, so everything looks absolutely fine, which is great. I am going to plant runner beans again, and once they're of a certain height, I'm going to plant them in amongst my tomato plants, because I'm pretty sure that slugs don't like tomato plants, and if I plant things that they do like amongst them, it'll keep them away, so I'm going to give that a go because we're trying to do everything we can to plant things and ha have things survive without killing the creatures that eat them. Now, I don't have a lot of space. It's mostly pots. I do have a big garden waste wheelie bin that I tend not to empty. I'll let it build up, and it's absolutely heaving with various bugs and insects and slugs and snails so I try to leave that there so they've got plenty of places to go so they'd rather they'd rather eat my runner beans <laughs> anyway so I'm gonna get on because we're back home again things happening as normal back to real life stuff to do um, such is life
going to head out today and tidy up the pots where things have died and I'm going to put the tomatoes in instead. I need to get these out now because they're unhappy being stuck in pots on my windowsills now. So that's the job I'm going to go and do now. So here are all my tomato plants that I am going to plant out today if the rain holds off. These two in the middle here are a cherry variety. They are the last of the seeds that I have. They're quite old seeds. The germination wasn't very good. They're not a terribly good um, seed variety. So I'm just going to put those in because they've grown. These are the new ones that I'm planting this year. These are called Ailsa. Uh, there's a bunch of them there. There's two plants in that one. Um, I've ended up with three plants growing in this one. Two plants in that one, one plant in that one. So I have tons of tomato plants. Um, I'm not expecting all of them to survive, but uh, it gives me plenty of safety backups in case things go wrong. Now that I have sorted out my tomatoes, I have some spare pots because I need to repot my Venus flytrap. Now, this is now finished flowering and I thought I was doing it a favour by letting it flower, but apparently you're supposed to cut the flower heads off and not let them flower because it knackers them out. And this one is not looking terribly happy, um, but I'm pretty sure it really does need repotting now. And I'm hoping that will help. I bought this on Amazon a while ago, waiting for the uh, the cactus to, or the Venus flytrap, to finish flowering because it said don't do it whilst they're flowering because they get stressed out. Ooh. That smells funny. Um, so now that's been dealt with and it's putting out new traps and it looks like it's putting on a new spurt of growth. This does feel like the right time to repot it and I'm hoping I've got enough food for it. Uh, this is a litre. And I'm just going to give this a go. So, I'm going to move you around. Can you see that okay? That'll do. Right, so. This is quite a deep pot. I'm wondering if, don't even know if I have a smaller one. I'm just going to go and have a look for a smaller one. Oh, hold on. I knew I had a smaller pot somewhere. I mean, that's still quite a different pot size. Right, so, just going to whack in some soil at the bottom. to carefully remove him. Then upsetting him. Come on you, out you come. Oh yeah, look at those. It's ready. That's nice and solid. We'll pop you. Let's make a little well. And then we can sit you in there. I'm going to use this little pot to tip some of this in in the gaps. Oops. 
Sorry about that. Drowning in new soil. Traps there. That's that there. I think I'm going. All right, going to get some water, and we can water it in. Soak this in. This is rainwater because I always keep pots outside to catch rainwater. I'll give that a chance to bed in a little bit. Soaks up a lot of rainwater because it's it's not peat based, but um, it's that sort of thing. Right, I've got a bit of spare now. There we go. Not difficult to do, and hopefully it won't die on me. Right, watch and wait, I guess. How's that done? Saturday morning. Yesterday I thought I'd skipped a season. It got dark really early and it was really cold and I had to put the lights on in the front room, which doesn't often happen now because it's light until 10 o'clock, but it wasn't yesterday. I felt like we'd skipped a season and gone straight to November. I had my sushi hoodie on. I had some fluffy socks on with my slippers and I was under my blanket. It was cold. What's going on? Come on, Summer. Come back. I'll watch the weather reports for the next week. And I don't think I'm going to get a hike in. It's tipping it down all week. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. You never know. Um, I'm hopeful. Quietly hopeful, because things can change really fast with the weather. But, uh, oh my goodness. Anyway, back to routine today. Uh, Saturday morning means off cleaning. Sunday morning means off cleaning. And back to the real world, I guess. I was nicely busy yesterday. Going to my studio, made a dress. I'm going to start listing a few things soon. I've got three dresses ready to go up in my shop. And um, I'll keep you posted on that. So here we are, back to routine. It's Sunday morning, or it's Sunday lunchtime actually. Um, I've completed both my cleaning jobs for this weekend. And as usual, I've gone back to doing my um, going to Morrison's first thing and looking for yellow stickers. So this, I think it's been about three weeks since I've done a yellow sticker run because I haven't been here uh, and I stopped going probably about a week before I came away because I didn't want to have too much food over um, plus I've been back a few days so it's been about three weeks and I've had quite a good morning actually so I'm going to show you what I've got first I have loads of carrots uh, these were 50p down to 25p I have loads of tomato salad tomatoes so these were 95p for six down to 38p so I bought three of those there were loads on the shelf so that's those three um, there was also a whole swede which was 65p down to 48p that means I can batch make some casserole and put that in the freezer I have the room at the moment 
I also have ro romaine lettuce hearts. These were 99p down to 40p. So that's good. I also have runner beans. Would you believe it? Uh, stringless beans. These were £1.39 for this tiny little packet of beans. £1.39 down to 42p. So my lack of runner beans growing outside has been thwarted. Um, there were some noodles, which I'm going to have today. These were £1.29 for this stupid tiny little bag, down to 33p. And I have a twin pack, uh, two pack of broccoli. These were 99p down to 50p. So that means that the last of the broccoli that I still have in my freezer which I have been eating since I got back as part of my lunchtime meals and the same with the carrots can now stay there as backup and I can use these. So that's not actually a bad start. Um, I'm still trying to eat less processed food. It's been quite difficult while I've been away. Uh, although they have healthy diets there is more stuff in their house that's processed than I would have. So there's bread, cereals, cake, biscuits, all the things that I love. Um, I was quite restrained because I'm in someone else's house and eating on someone else's budget. I tend to be a little bit more restrained, obviously. Um, so I haven't done too badly while I've been away. Now I'm back. The only way I can avoid eating rubbish is not to buy the rubbish. And if I don't have food on hand that's snackable, I can't snack. The only thing I've got that's snackable at the moment is peanut butter because I like a teaspoon of peanut butter. That is literally all there is, uh, which is just as well, because I can feel myself already slipping back into habits. Now I'm back as normal, even though I have stuff to do. I'm trying to keep very busy. Um, and I'm just trying to avoid any as much of the processed stuff as possible, get myself into good habits. It's not been difficult. I haven't missed bread. I haven't craved bread or biscuits or cake or anything like that actually. Sugar, not really, not been too bad. Um, so I feel like I'm kind of moving in the right direction. I do need to exercise more. Doesn't help that the weather's not good. It's not gonna help with the hiking, which was the thing that I was really enjoying doing. So I'm gonna keep an eye on the weather and see how we get on. Anyway, so went a bit off tangent there. So my Morrison's haul today uh, came to £3.52 and as usual I will put the information on there so you can see what I would have spent had I paid full price for this and what I have spent by buying yellow stickers. I'm pretty sure that some of these prices are higher than they used to be. I think the noodles have gone up a little bit. I think that the price of one of beans is an absolute joke. Um, most things seem to be about the same. But I think that incrementally prices are still rising and incrementally I think that the yellow sticker prices are obviously going up as well. So I'm just keeping an eye on things. I'm trying to be really good about um, you know, cooking from scratch and stuff. I probably will bake a cake this week um, because I haven't done anything since I got back. I'm not baking cakes because I'll eat them, but at least when I am baking them, I know what ingredients are going into them. There is no um, dodgy stuff going into them, so to speak. Anyway, so that's my first haul of July. The first one post, uh, post trip away. And if we can keep up this level of vegetables, we'll be doing just fine. So... Sunday morning's weather report told me that Monday was going to be a bit naff. And then overnight, I think it must have changed because this is Monday. It's gorgeous, it's warm, it's sunny. It's not going to last. And it's 11 o'clock now. I had a ton of stuff that I needed to get done this morning, um, admin and video uploading and video recording and whatever, and I thought, I'm just going to get on with it. Got all the windows open, it's lovely. And then as the morning wore on, I started to feel a bit angsty. 
and I thought, I need to get out. I need to go and enjoy this. I haven't walked in ages, and this isn't going to be a hike. Had I known that the weather was going to change this much, I would have hiked, but I'd like to be organised, and I hadn't planned to hike on Monday. And so, I'm not hiking. I think that Thursday and Friday might be good now. So I'm hoping that the improvements hang in there and I can get a walk in at the end of the week because I can plan, <coughs> I can plan my hike for that. I'll get a, a few like, snacks and stuff together and make sure my route is properly planned. But I wasn't going to do that this morning, waking up at like seven o'clock, seeing the sun streaming in and going, oh my God, I have to go on a hike. Because I like to be a bit more organised and I had such a list of admin this morning. So here I am. I've donned my trainers and I'm taking myself out for a pre-lunch walk. Now, if the weather had been nice all day, I would have done this in the afternoon. I tend to be a lot more productive work-wise in the mornings now, even though I'd never considered myself a lark. I'm more of a night owl. However, I seem to be changing. And I find I am more focused and organised and busy in the morning. Then I have lunch and then it all falls to pieces basically. So what I really wanted to do was get all my work done this morning and then go out and walk in the afternoon when I become less productive. And that'll keep me doing something. But I'm pretty sure that this weather is going to go in the afternoon. And I really didn't want to take the risk of losing that and then it getting to the afternoon and me being well I'm not going to go out now and then wasting the afternoon because I go into procrastination mode in the afternoons so I have to swap things around basically having gone out now I'm also going to miss my 12 o'clock lunch and if I'm pushing my lunch on a little bit later in the afternoon, even by an hour, that means I'm going to snack less between lunch and dinner. So it's all part of the strategy in its own funny way. So here I am, trying to do something that's remotely energetic. I'm not just ambling. I'm putting one foot in front of the other with a little more motivation than normal and I don't even know where I'm going. It's not, not a country walk, this is going to be around the streets walk. But I reckon I can get an hour out of this. And then I will feel like I've done something good with my day. The admin is one thing, but it involves me standing still not moving about and not being outside in the weather. So what I will try to do is, I'll do all this. I'll do a, a later lunch and then finish off all the admin and the other bits and bobs in the afternoon. I had some sewing to finish, which I'm probably not gonna get done now. I'll roll that on over to tomorrow. This is gorgeous out here. And hopefully that's a good sign for the week. Because the weather's been dreadful since I got back. And it's gonna be like 22 or 23 degrees by this afternoon, which is so good. But I think it's gonna be like that all week. It's not necessarily gonna be sunny, but if the temperature's good, that's fine. And I don't particularly want sunny and hot for hiking. I just don't want cold and raining. 
if it gets too hot, it's really hard to hike effectively because it wears you out. So I don't actually want it to be sunny and later this week it looks like it's going to be warm but cloudy, which is perfect really because it's very exposed up there on, out on the moors. Anyway, so I'm going to stride out see where I end up. If I can get an hour out of this, that would be really good. <sighs> Fun times. My gut instinct about the weather was right. I came back from the walk. I did do an hour and it was fairly brisk walking so I, I was tired afterwards. My energy levels are rubbish. And did lunch. By the time I'd finished sorting out lunch and done that it was half one so that was good. And then I made a cake. <laughs> I have literally nothing in to eat apart from lunch foods and what I make for the for the main for dinner which is always smaller there's no snacky foods so I haven't made a cake in yonks so I used some of the boozy fruit that was left over uh, from my last Christmas haul one of my discounted hauls they were discounting tons of like the fruit that you put in um, Christmas fruit cakes and Christmas puddings and things it's got a use by date of December 2023, but to be honest with you, it's fine. Um, and then this afternoon, I had a notice to say that my last Amazon purchase has arrived. So I'm going to have a look at it. Now, this is the last of the pesky gift card I've been trying to use up. And I bought myself a new selfie stick because as I have mentioned before I sat on mine at the beginning of the year broke the tripod completely did a fix on it didn't really work and I now have it just stuck like a pole in a bottle <laughs> and it needs to change and I've been humming and hiring about this thing and I thought I'm going to use up the last of the gift card and so I now have um let's have a look it's supposed to be really good. Well, I say it's supposed to be really good. I don't know. Uh, comes with a battery thing on it. I don't want that. Right, how does this thing work? Uh, all right, that's the bottom. So, ooh, hello. Oh, right, okay, so that turns up like that. So, God, I'm no good with technology. Um. <laughs> okay, so, it's quite long, 
It's much longer than my other one. I have to work out how on earth. So that goes like that. So what do you do? You pull it out. Oh, I see. Right, so that's the height one. That presumably is for the width. Oh, that's the height. I don't know. <sighs> right, how does the bottom bit work? Oh, God, do you know what? Me and technology is absolutely bloody useless. Excuse my language. Um, right, so... Basically, I have a new selfie stick that I've got to learn how to work. They're supposed to be simple. Why is this so difficult? It comes with a battery thing. That's really annoying. Uh, what is that? Oh, that's for the remote to connect to the Bluetooth. I don't care about that. Okay, so I'm going to work out how to use this blooming thing, and then I have a new... Um, Well, I will have a new tripod. Anyway, so I think that's probably the end of this update. Me trying to work out how to use a really basic selfie stick because I'm stupid. We'll have a play around and we'll see how that looks. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.